Come with me and you'll see a world of pure imagination. I hope I don't get copyright strike because I'm singing this song. <laughs> hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Pantsu here and how did you like that intro? Yeah, copyright music. Well, I hope it's not copyrighted. Is that Willy Wonka song? Thought it would fit in pretty well for this topic that we're going to be talking about, which is Metal Gear Survive. And hmm, my thoughts on it, my first impressions, all that stuff. And honestly, does it deserve the name Metal Gear? No, it does not. But does that make it a bad game? No, it's not a bad game, actually. It's pretty fun. I expected it to be very, very, very crappy, but no, it, it was fun. It was a pleasant surprise, but like always, these games are not perfect, and especially games like this have a lot of down plays to it. Now, let's talk beta. Let's talk my experience with it my issues that I had, the good, the bad, the ugly, and then the Konami, which, yuck, Konami, after what they did to Kojima, you sick bastards, you should have let him finish Metal Gear Solid 5, uh, you know what, I'm not getting into it, into it, I'm not, I'm not gonna get triggered, because, no, this is a family friendly channel, we don't get triggered here. We don't say bad words. Family friendly, motherfuckers. Family friendly. Okay, so, where was I? Oh yeah. <laughs> the Metal Gear Survive was hell of a lot of fun, actually, as I've been saying and repeating myself. God damn it. But, main issue here was that it took a, a while for me to get used to the mechanics. But again, I'm a very slow person, so... That's the usual with me, but it took longer than expected because you need to get used to all these multiple stuff. They bombard you with survival aspects as in if a, a zombie grabs you, bites you, or does a certain type of attack towards you, they give you a certain type of handicap, which either you bleed out, which is for each hit that you get, you will lose health you can recover it but you'll lose it and it'll just your health bar to say it's at 3000 you get a hit it reduces it to, it reduces it to 2500 again it's an example i don't know the exact number so take my words lightly i feel i am pretty brain dead as always so as i've been saying it go, you get a hit it drops to 2500 you can recover it if you like take fall damage or any of that but if you get hit by another enemy it's just gonna keep going down and down and down until it reaches zero and you need a special type of med kit that you have to craft and create using resources to heal yourself and then there's the other types where you can't recover health and there's a lot of aspects to it poison like if you eat you hunt down an animal or you eat something that's poisonous, you're gonna get poisoned and you're gonna slowly die. And again, you need a med kit, a special med kit that you have to create with different ingredients to heal yourself and to stop it. So, now getting that away, you do have, from the beta that I played, you do have to be very resourceful and strategic. It's a very strategic game and you, if you're going at it alone, like your meat when you beat it it's gonna be very hard so like you just have to make sure you have all the resources because if you don't have enough resources and if you don't know how much bullets how much healing items what resources you have you are going to be screwed over hard but like hard and I'm talking screwed over hard like small channels on YouTube hard that's how hard they're, you're gonna get screwed over <laughs> but enough with that and 
as I said, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's a good thing because it encourages and implements you to do co-op. It brings out the co-op aspect of it where, again, it's not easy co-op, but it also makes it a lot more bearable, especially if your team is not comprised of full dick bags that want to take all the credit and want to kill each and every damn zombie because my god that's so annoying you're supposed to be working together not hogging all the credit but again as I said that's personal experience because the co-op that I had with players was pretty crappy you know either they tried to hog everything by themselves like during in between mission breaks you would have to go out and scavenge areas like there's drop boxes and all that where it has certain types of weapons or rare rare what's it called rare equipment gear and items to craft they would they would fight each other for it and it was pretty dumb because in the end it's just to benefit the team and to be able to survive so it really depends on what type of team members you have and if you're playing with friends that you know and you can talk to it's much more easier unfortunately I didn't so my co-op experience was just overall very bad and I didn't even hit the record button which sucked so bad my brain dead moments just get worse by day and it sucks so as I've been saying the co-op aspect is very fun when done right but when it's not done like every co-op game like everyone it's gonna be a horrible time so just make sure if you're gonna do it co-op have a friend with you that you can trust and you know won't screw you over for materials and for uh, kills <laughs> but as I was saying gameplay wise there's a lot of variety to it the survival aspect to it is very very present kind of reminds me of dying light in some way like the beta the pr impressions that I got for it is imagine Dying Light, Black Ops Zombies, and Metal Gear intertwined into one, and that's what I got from the scavenger missions of the beta. That's the feeling that I got in it, and it was fun, and it was pretty well done, you know? N not awe-inspiring and jaw-dropping, but it wasn't repetitive like I was expecting it to be. It was good. It was decent. I binged it and I went it up until level 20 I guess yeah that was the max level and overall I had fun with it issues hmm. another issue would be is that they don't explain themselves that well the mechanics are very you know you learn them you learn this you learn how to use it and blah 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 you know they drop you into this white area where there's a training part there's a part to customize your character there's the loadout the mission select training um, customizing uh, crafting area so you can get prepared for the incoming round upgrade your weapons yada 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 blah 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 all that stuff you know and overall it was very well done they explained it pretty well it was it wasn't all too hard you know and once you get used to it it gets fun it's the first few minutes that get you that if you play it immediately you might lose which did happen to me I did lose horribly because I didn't know what the hell I was doing I went in completely blind I didn't even know what Metal Gear Survive was going to be about because when I first heard it and I knew that Ko Kojima wasn't going to be in it, I just made the cross and I screwed it over and I just went like, nope, 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 nope. But after setting aside my salt and giving it a try, it was fun. I enjoyed it. Now, now let's talk about more details and go a little bit in depth because Papa Pantsu over here has been doing his research. So there will be a single player campaign for this game which honestly makes it makes me feel a bit relieved because I just thought that it was going to be a multiplayer only game and that would have been a total ripoff if it was they should have made it 
free to play if it was just going to be multiplayer but I'm glad that it wasn't and uh, there's going to be a single player campaign in it and it's going to come out February 20th now from what I saw the campaign is going to take in between the events of Ground Zero and Metal Gear Solid 5 so it's going to be a, around in between there and it's a spin-off so it's not canon which thank god because I don't want them spitting on the work of Kojima any more than they already did so let's separate it and make it non-canon and I'm pretty glad that they did that I don't want any disrespect towards Mr. Kojima <laughs> like Konami already screwed him over enough so the campaign is basically going to be you know just survival based from what I've been hearing the story I really don't know much because they really don't explain it it just emphasizes a lot on the gameplay that you have to hunt down animals to for food you're gonna have to build your base you're gonna have to survive you're gonna have to recruit people basically <coughs> excuse me my lord what was that was, I felt like I just took a hit from the bomb <laughs> but as I was saying before that rude interruption <laughs> it's it's just, I don't know how to feel about it. I'm scared for it because Metal Gear Survive sounds like it's going to take heavy inspiration from Metal Gear 5 and become very repetitive campaign wise, side quest wise, and I don't know if it's worth paying $39.99 for. I would much rather spend my money on Player Unknown Battlegrounds or just save up for Dragon Ball Fighter Z or Monster Hunter World those games honestly seem much more worth my time than Metal Gear Survive although I had fun with it I won't lie it was fun there were some badass moments like the walker when you got into the walker those little tiny things with the machine the machine guns integrated it was fun as hell I loved the idea and concept they had behind it but do I see myself playing it all the time do I see myself enjoying it and and just doing it over time like it's gonna last long no I really don't I really think that this game is just going to be those types that you're hyped about in the beginning you love it but then you get more into it it just gets boring stale and repetitive and that's how I feel Metal Gear Survive is going to turn out for me in my honest opinion so I'm not going to buy it, and if I do buy it, it's going to be on uh, on sale. It's going to have to be a good good sale, very low price, because I'm not going to spend $39 on a game that's just basically a surviving simulator. So yeah, that's my opinions about it. That was my first impressions, and if you're going to get it, just... I hope that you're really into survival games and don't go into the mindset that this is going to be a Metal Gear game it's not honestly it's far from a Metal Gear game it's a surviving simulator essentially so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the rambling until next time see you guys later peace peace too many thoughts on my mind I can't sleep at night so I just keep writing I don't need no help, I don't need opinions, so don't waste my time then I just been living online, my city don't show me no loving